Deutschlings. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a video titled Why I No Longer Call Myself a Pagan. <laughs> I touched on this a little bit in my Revisited Deity Work series. I'm gonna move my broom. But I wanted to like, I guess give an update, talk a little bit more about it, where I'm coming from, etc. So yeah, I no longer call myself a pagan or a neo-pagan or an eclectic pagan for a lot of reasons. And to be really clear, I don't have a problem with the term at all. I think that I have shied away from calling myself a pagan for a while now, mostly because I find that a lot of my practice, a lot of my witchcraft, it and it, 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 this is such a hard video. My witchcraft and my paganism are something that I always kind of kept separate, and I've hit the point where my beliefs in the divine and my witchcraft are no longer separate. I don't attempt to separate them. I don't like go out of my way to separate them because for me, they have become incredibly intertwined. And I'll explain. I am a witch first and all of this stuff with deities, with entities, with the divine came out of the woodwork as a result of my witchcraft and me looking into witchcraft. Even when I called myself a pagan, I still felt as though my paganism and my witchcraft were very intertwined. And I don't necessarily think that I am as like quote unquote religious as I used to be. A lot of my practice is folk magic. It's working with saints, it's uh, working with the land, it's working with spirits. It's not, you know, an earth-based religion. It's not something that I would consider to be a part of paganism, primarily because it has never been considered paganism. I mean, even though I work with pagan gods, I work with Diana, I worship Hades, I work with Lupa, the she-wolf, I don't think that working with those gods titles me as a pagan. It's just a part of my folk magic, my folk witchcraft. That kind of reverence for the divine and working with the divine is just another aspect of my craft and my beliefs. And in Italian folk magic specifically, I am citing uh, Italian folk magic by Mary Grace Farin, where she talks about both working with saints and her patron goddess Aphrodite, working with deities while also working with saints as Catholic entities almost feels second nature to me. It's almost like it's something that has always made sense and it feels natural to me. And Italian folk magic looks different depending on who's practicing it. I know of Italian folk practitioners who are heavily Catholic. I know of Italian folk practitioners who kind of go more the route that of paganism or of something that is less Catholic. E each is valid and everyone goes in their own way. For me, I am not a Catholic or Christian and I am not a pagan, but I work with entities from two different kind of religions, from a pagan, Roman pagan religion and from Catholic religion. And I'm gonna do a video on saint work and how I approach saints because I don't approach saints as a Catholic, as someone who believes in God. I approach saints as someone who can, uh, as spirits from Catholicism who you can call upon to help you. And for me, that distinguishing mark is really important. I'm not necessarily looking at it. I'm sorry, I got distracted because the praying mantis that's been literally hanging outside my window for days now is leaving. Damn, end of an era. Sir, ma'am, what are you doing? She's climbing. Is the Black Widow out? But perhaps, oh, she fell. <gasps> oh my God, holy shit. The grasshopper was just climbing up the side and then just fell. 
I can't help her, all right? I can't open that window and help her because there's a black widow that lives right outside my window and she just released all her babies and I refuse to have black widows in here. Damn, how did you get down here? Do not compute, cannot compute. All right, I'm hoping that she's gonna write herself and get out of it. She doesn't seem, she was in the like spider web multiple times and managed to get out. So it doesn't seem like it's a big deal for her. You just gotta hope that the Black Widow doesn't get to her first. Although I would pay money to see a praying mantis in a Black Widow fight. Truly. Well, it's gonna take some time, but she'll be fine. She'll get out of there. She got in this. Anyways, back to the um, topic at hand. The craft that I practice is not one, and like I said, my witchcraft and my belief in the divine, my work with entities is so intertwined that, that I don't feel the need to separate them anymore. I don't feel the need to say that I'm a pagan witch because pagan is a term that I guess feels too broad for me. It doesn't quite fit. It feels like the term that people use when something is, dare I say, just non-Christian. I'm pretty sure that Islam and Judaism, you know, or at least they say like non-Abrahamic, but I don't categorize um, Islam, Judaism, Christianity in the same category in any way, shape or form. And I try not to do that. But when it's not, I guess, non-Abrahamic, it's called pagan, but then we have Hinduism under that label of paganism and other Dharmic faiths, any Dharmic faith under the label of paganism. And that doesn't even make any sense because those are still dominant religions in a lot of areas. And, Pagan, a lot of people treat it like it's, you know, a minority religion, but it's really an umbrella term. We have an umbrella term. And that umbrella term has so many things underneath it. Like we have Celtic paganism, Roman paganism, Hellenismos, um, like all these areas in that umbrella term. And I haven't found one that fits me yet. And I think my response to not finding one that fits me is just to not use it. I just refer to myself as a folk practitioner because to me, that term folk practitioner, folk magic encompasses everything that I do. It encompasses my witchcraft, it encompasses my belief in the divine, and it encompasses my saint work. I don't need a label like pagan or Roman pagan or Greek pagan to categorize that for me because folk magic already does that. I, within the realm of Italian folk magic, everything that I am doing and everything that is in my practice makes sense. And once again, paganism isn't a term that I hate. It's not a bad term, it's not a dirty term. It's just a term that I no longer resonate with. It no longer makes sense for me, as a, personally, to use it. Oh, is that baby, is there a baby spider going to eat the praying mantis? Oh, whoa. Oh my god, this black, so like I said, <laughs> the Black Widow has, oh my god, I'm just gonna show you. If you don't like bugs, this is your trigger warning. There's a grasshopper. She's upside down, and there's a little baby Black Widow right there. Go, oh, watch out, she moving. This is Animal Kingdom right now. She moving. She's gonna eat you. Oh, this is intense. I'm so invested. You probably can't see the baby black widow, but you can see that the praying mantis is still moving. It's possible that she doesn't want to mess with the praying mantis, right? Maybe that's the case. I don't know. If you know anything about insects, let me know what's going on because this has been like a week long ride for me. That's the best we can do. And even though I no longer call myself a pagan, I still, you know, read texts on ancient religions. You know, I read the texts on Roman paganism and Greek paganism, I read the myths. Pagan is just no longer a term that makes sense for me as a person. And this is like, an, I guess, another aspect of my growth is because deity work has taken such like a sideline to wed witchcraft and other aspects of my practice, it feels like it no longer makes sense to call myself a pagan because I'm not defined by that deity work. And I think a cloud just went over the sun. I'm losing my light. Please don't do this to me right now. I'm filming. Apollo, come back. Don't you dare. Apollo, bring it back. Okay. Helios, bring back the sun. That one worked. <laughs> oh, damn it. No, stop, Helios. Helios, bring back the sun. I need the sunlight. I'm filming. 
Helios, please bring back the sun. Nice. Thank you, Helios. Please keep it. Oh, it just left. <laughs> so now my practice looks a lot like that, yelling at the sky when I need something. <laughs> Not a lot of praying. I do worship, you know, pagan gods. But like I said, pagan is such a large term. And for me, I don't, I don't feel like I fit just under that general label. I don't consider myself, thank you Helios. I don't consider myself, I guess I'm part, I'm part of the witch community. I'm not necessarily part of the pagan community. I'm not in a facet that, you know, is in the pagan community, which would be like, Norse paganism, Celtic paganism, etc. I'm not in one of those facets. And I guess at the end of the day, you can use paganism to describe any religion that's not Abrahamic. But for me, that doesn't make much sense. And for me, folk magic makes more sense to say what I'm doing. But yeah, that's my spiel, uh, punctuated by you guys seeing a little bit of the insect war happening outside of my window. Um, I will say, I mean, I'm definitely still spiritual. You know, I guess the term is spiritual. But at the end of the, like the best term to describe me is a folk practitioner. I am a folk witch, I am a folk practitioner. Everything that I do, at least to me, feels like it falls under the umbrella of folk magic. Even, you know, belief in goddesses, belief in pagan gods, because even though through, like recently that wasn't considered part of folk magic, Long, long time ago, it may have. As religions change, as empires fall. Helios, please. I literally just need to do my outro. Can you come? Can you come back? It's not happening. So that's my little video on why I no longer call myself a pagan. And even then, to add on, uh, while I argue with Helios, I'll scoot forward. I feel like neo-paganism, the term neo-paganism. To me, it feels like we're taking a lot of things out of cultural context, but it depends. I mean, you know, there are two branches, two schools of thought. Traditional paganism, neo-paganism. Um, but we have a reconstructionist. You know what? I'm gonna research more and make another video because I, thank you, because I clearly don't know what I'm talking about enough to talk, to comment on the pagan community. And I'm not even like, I'm not even like a part of the community. I'm a full practitioner, so we'll just leave it. Someone else can talk about different branches of paganism, right? Not me. I'm gonna sit here yelling at Helios when he brings clouds over the sun, right in time for my intro. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching. You can look forward to some Saint Mark videos next week, probably. Um, and if there's stuff you want me to talk about, folk magic or folk practitioners, I'm trying to do a nice transition into that. Um, or even witchcraft in general, let me know. Thank you, Helios, yay! Thanks so much for watching. If you want, you can comment, like, subscribe, turn the bell on, but absolutely no pressure. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember to drink water. Sabanadika.